I've got an image already uploaded into Photoshop. You can see I've got Natalie Portman. The reason I chose this picture is because it's got a great background and a mint tone color dress on, and it's an accurate picture of what I'm looking for in terms of uh, closeness for her face. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my layers palette. I'll hit Command J to create a new layer. I'm going to go up to my image, adjustments, brightness and contrast, and I'm going to adjust the brightness and contrast in a way that I'm going to get some really high highlights and some mid whites. And I've done this a few times already, so I've cheated and I know exactly what numbers are going to work for me. So I'm going to go 80 and 45. You may have to try this a few times in order to get the right brightness and right contrast for your individual image. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to turn this image into black and white. I'm going to go Command, Option, Alt, Shift, B for black and white. And I'll click OK. And then after I've got it black and white, it's time to posterize this image so that all those mid-tone grays, whites, and blacks end up turning into really high contrast values just like this. And my posterize, I can change it, maybe a 5 or a 6 or down to 3. That's a little too little. Um, I think I like 5 just fine, so I'll leave it at 5 and I'm going to hit OK. Now, it's time to create a bunch of new layers so that I can paint in areas that's going to be Andy Warhol-esque. Andy Warhol is just a pop artist that did very popular paintings in around the 1960s of different celebrities. And we're going to do that style today. So Command-Shift-N for a new layer, and we'll do her dress, Command-Shift-N, her skin, for all of her skin tones in there. Uh, Command Shift N for the background. And then she actually has some type of uh, white shirt or addition to her sleeves. And so Command Shift N, and I'm going to call those, that just sleeves because I don't really know what that is. Uh, Command Shift N, I'm going to put one in for hair. And then in the end, I'm going to show you something that Andy Warhol does, which is the highlight on the eyes. So I'm going to just Command Shift N and call another layer eyes. You can see my layers palette, there's all my layers. First thing I need to do is I need to start applying some color. So what I've done is I've gone to the trouble of finding a Marilyn Monroe painting online of Andy Warhol painting. I'm going to go to my eyedropper by pushing I. I'm going to click on the image and I'm going to drag it off, holding down my mouse, and I'm going to select the skin tone off the Marilyn Monroe painting in the background. You can notice from my color palette on my tools that it's changed to a skin tone. And I'm going to borrow that. I'll push B for brush, and I'm going to make sure I'm on the right layer, which is skin. Adjust my brush size right after I zoom in, just like that. Go back to brush, and to zoom, I just pushed Z, and I'm going to brush in everywhere where her skin tones are going to matter. So I'll brush in this area just like that. Not really any neck because it's all black. Hold down space bar to move. There's her fingers are down here, so I'm just going to brush those in nice and lightly. And I'm adjusting the brush size so that it matches up with the skin. And then obviously we got her legs as well. And I'm trying to be very careful not to paint the background or anything that is not it. Not that you have to be absolutely perfect, but in the fact that I don't want to have to come back and erase later on. A little highlight in there. All right, I'm going to hit Z to zoom. I'm going to zoom out, and now it's time to change the blending mode of the layer. I can go up to my layers palette, and here I have normal. I'm going to click on it, and these are all the blending mode options. You can go through and see the effects of all of these. Some of the easiest ones we can use are multiply, which that worked out quite well because you can see the face, and you can also see uh, overlay works. Uh, you know, If you like that, a nice bright contrast, and you can go through and try different things and just see what they do. I'm going to stick with uh, Multiply just because it works for me. I'm going to come back and I'm going to erase because I messed up and went over a little bit. So I erased a little bit off the, the legs there. Now that I'm done with my skin tones, I can go and select a hair color. I'm going to push I for my eyedropper again. I'm going to click and drag off and I'm going to borrow the color from the Marilyn Monroe painting by Andy Warhol. Uh, it's not quite bright yellow enough for me, so I'm going to go up to my color palette and I'm going to brighten it up a little bit. Uh, I can click in here and I can get a little bit brighter yellow. Uh, something right around in there is what I want. I'll go back to my brush. I'm going to zoom in a little bit by clicking Z. I can drag down towards the screen, spacebar to move up, B to go back to my brush. Uh, first thing I need to do is make sure I'm on the right layers palette before I brush that in. So I'm going to go back to the hair. 
layer and I'm going to click on that so I'm making sure I'm brushing on the hair. I'll come in here with my brush and I'm just going to brush in all the area where her hair is. And just like before, I'm going to come in and I'm going to try to do my best to keep it to the as accurate as possible. I need to reduce the size of my brush. I do not have to be perfect by any means, but I definitely want to get in there and I want to get as individual hair strands as I can so that it will look unique. As I brush in here, get all the hair done. Just like this, get in there, reduce it, get the rest of these little hair pieces that are sticking out down there, just like that. Increase the brush size so I can cover a wide area, shrink it down, get all these little pieces of hair sticking out. And something like that, maybe a little bit up here. And now again, I'm going to go to my blending mode on my layers palette. I'm going to set the blending mode. Uh, let's see what multiply looks like. Again, I like multiply. I like overlay. That's, a, that's actually a really nice, like, super bright contrast, so that, that might work for later on. Uh, again, it's all dependent upon your mood. You, can, you know, color dodge doesn't quite work. Um, pen light doesn't work at either. So I'm going to stick with overlay because I really like that really light bright or I might end up going with multiply. Uh, let's just go with multiply to keep the, uh, the blending mode options the same. I'm going to pause the video now and I'm going to finish up the rest of my coloring so that I can come back and show you uh, a, a few last things to do for this. Alright, now what I've got done here is I've gone through and I've borrowed a lot of the colors, actually all of the colors, uh, other than just a few adjustments of uh, blue here and there. And I've gone through and I've got my dress, the skin tones, the background, her sleeves and her hair all in an Andy Warhol type of color effect. Uh, the only last thing that Andy Warhol does is a lot of times to put over the top of the eye. And you'll notice in the images here, he's got a lot of the, the highlights for the, the, the women's eyes. And so we're just going to add a little bit of effect in there from an Andy Warhol type perspective in order to get that highlight. So again, I'm going to get my eyedropper out and I'm just going to select that light pink that's out there and I kind of like that that's already going on. Take my brush, Z for zoom, B for brush, I'm going to zoom in, hold down space bar, move up. I'm going to put my brush at a little bit smaller and I'm just going to put a highlight right above her eyes just like that. And this works out perfectly because there's an area right in here that works and again we're going to just set that blending mode option uh, to like multiply or overlay or whatever works. I actually like overlay, that makes it really a neon effect. I'm going to Z for zoom, drag out of my image, and there we go, we get an Andy Warhol effect. And now that we've got it all colored in, we're done. Now we're time to move on to the series of four.